God bless you. God bless you. Amen. This is Pastor Justin S. Lucas. Let me just take this time and say welcome back. Welcome back. Amen. To Rebirth Live. Amen. We are so glad and grateful just to be back with you guys one more time. It's another opportunity that God has allowed us a chance to come together once again. Once again, we want to say welcome back. Amen. We took some time over the last week to just take you back to church. We wanted to take you back to church and just give you that old school church vibe. Amen. We cannot forget where we come from, even though this seems like this is the new normal. Amen. Coming to you virtually, digitally, whatever you want to call it. Amen. In your homes, on your cell phone, on your TVs. Amen. We don't ever want to forget the feeling of church. Amen. I believe that church will never really ever be the same but that it's gonna get better. It's gonna get greater, amen. So we wanted to come to you guys on last Sunday and Wednesday, amen, and just give you church again, give you the sanctuary again. And let me just tell you, we have heard overwhelming response of people of God saying how those messages just minister to them, how those messages were right then and there for what it is that they were going through. Man, look, I'm going to tell you what. When I was watching those messages, hallelujah, I'm going to be honest. It ministered to me. Not that I wanted to hear myself speak, amen. Men at the scales often talk about that, hallelujah. But just to be able to go in and hear the word of God. You know, sometimes you can go back and just watch. You can go back and just listen. And even though it was preached three or four or five months ago, amen, it can minister to you right there where you are. Amen. And on that note, I want to tell you that every message that you see on this broadcast, guess what? You can find it right there on YouTube. You can find it on our YouTube page. Simply go to Rev Lucas on YouTube. Amen. And we've got everything right there for you guys where you can watch these messages. Amen. How many of you know that they will minister to you in your time of need? They will speak to you even though they're older. Sometimes they just have a way of being able to speak to you right there in what you're going through at this current moment. Amen. Listen, we are here tonight on a beautiful Wednesday. I know you are hot, my God. <laughs> Amen. But we're here on another day that God has given us an opportunity to be able to bless his name, to be able to just give him praise. And on tonight, look, we want you to like and share this broadcast, hallelujah, so that we can reach everybody. Let them know Rebirth is back. Rebirth is back. Hallelujah. We got a word for you guys on tonight. It's so, so very important uh, on this evening that you guys share this broadcast because I've been moved by the Lord to reveal some things on tonight and begin to show the church, begin to show the body of Christ how it is that God is trying to mess up what, uh, uh, excuse me, not that God, that the enemy, there we go, is trying to mess up God's plan. He's trying to mess up what God is about to do. God has revealed this to me. God has shown this to me. And I'm very passionate about it. I'm, I'm excited about it on tonight. Amen. Because God has given me this and he wants me to reveal to you some of the things that the enemy is doing. Amen. To try to mess up what God is about to do in our lives. My God. So listen, I want you to tune in. I want you to invite somebody tonight. However it be through a watch party going down through your list on Messenger. Send this message out to somebody. Amen. That they can hear it on tonight. So like and share. We're going to have some church, amen, because I'm still believing God to do everything that he said he was going to do. I'm still trusting God to believe and believing that he's going to send everything that he said he was going to send. He's going to work out everything that he said he was going to work out. Come on, I want somebody for the first time tonight. I want you to just type, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it, preacher. I believe it. I believe that God's going to do just what he said. I want y'all to put them hands together with me tonight while you liking and sharing, while you getting ready for church tonight. Amen. I want you to give God some hand clap through your hand. Come on, give him some praise. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The song simply says, I believe just what he said. Come on and say it. Oh, I believe just what God said. He's going to do just what he said he's going to do. Come on, let's jam a little bit. Well, I'll have my mansion now. Oh, I oh, I believe, I believe, yeah. Come on and say, I'll have my mansion now. Hey, oh, I believe just what he said. Come on and clap those hands. This one for you. 
you on the scale. This one for you on the scale. Come on and say. Oh, I have my mansion now. I believe, yeah. Well, I'll have my mansion now. Come on, let's say, oh, I believe just what he said. How many of you believe it? Ooh, I have my mansion now. Oh, I believe, I believe. Oh. to put them hands together. Come on and clap them hands right there. I know you're getting dinner ready, but come on and say it this evening. Come on. I believe it. I receive it. I can have it. I can share it. Because I believe just what he said. Come on and say it tonight. Show it. I will bear it. Now I can share it. I believe just what he said. Now, if you believe it, I want you to get up off of that couch. I want you to come on in the living room. Amen. And get ready to give God some praise. Come on. I want you to type on that screen right now. God's going to do just what he said. He's going to do just what he said. Come on and say it. Well, take it now. He'll do it. Yeah. He'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do it. Yeah. Come on. He'll do it. Yes, he will. I believe it. Hey. I believe it. Come on. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Hey. He'll do it. Yes, he'll do it. He'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do it. I believe he will. I said I know he will. I said I know that he will. I said I know that he will. Well, he'll do it. Well, he'll do it. Yeah, I believe he'll do it. I receive he'll do it. I read in my word he'll do it. He used the word that shall. Hey, he said he shall. Hey. He said it shall. <laughs> that means it's got to happen, saints. Well, he'll do it. Yes, he will. If he will. I said God will. Yes, he will. For God is not a man. Hey, that he should lie. I said neither is he the son of man. That he should repent. Hey, he'll do it. Say that he'll do it. Hey, hey. I get excited when I think about it. Say that he will. Ooh. Hey, he will. Uh, he will. Hey, God's got to do it. Hey, whatever you need. <laughs> whatever you need. <laughs> I said God's going to do it. Hey, God's going to do it. He's gonna do it, hey. As a matter of fact, hey, hey. As a matter of fact, say this right here. Said it's already done. Already done, hey. Already done. I said already done. Say this. It is finished. Oh, I get excited about that. I get excited about that. <laughs> I said, I get excited about that. Hey, said that it's finished. It is finished. Hey, it is done. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. I said, it is finished. It's 
living room and just shout all through your house and say, it's already done. Hey, I said, it's already done. Yay! Already done. He already fixed it. Hey, he already worked it out. He already fixed it. I better leave that alone. I better leave that alone. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said it's already done. I said it's already done. I said that it's already done. I said that he fixed it on Calvary when he hung his head. Hey, in the locks of his shoulders. <laughs> he said it is finished. I better leave it alone. I better leave it alone. <laughs> I got to leave that alone tonight. But I believe just what he said. My God, my God. My God, my God, my God. Somebody said, I believe just what he said. If he said it, then that settles it. I, I, I just got to believe it. I got to believe it. Come on, somebody type in this room tonight. I just got to believe it. All I got to do is believe just what he said. Amen. And it's got to come to pass. It's got to happen. I believe that God is going to do everything that he said he would do. Hallelujah. In the midst of all that we're dealing with, that the church is going through, God is not a man that he should lie. But he's going to do everything that he said he was going to do. Come on, look. If you're in here all tonight, hey, man, and you're here on this Bible study this Wednesday night, look, I want you guys, hey, amen, to even do your part. Do what you said you were going to do. You said, I'm going to help take care of the church. I'm going to make sure to stay faithful in my giving. Listen, we're down at the end of another month. Hallelujah. Don't skip this month and go to next month and say, I'll do it next month. I'll pay tithes next month. No, do your part, hey, amen, and be faithful in your giving and believe God and watch God. Come on, come on saints. Come on, watch God move in your life. Hallelujah. Watch him sustain you and hold you down. Listen, this is not the time to not be faithful because God is still watching. God is still on the throne and let's do all that we can do. Somebody say, I'm going to do everything that I can. Hallelujah. In this time and in this season, amen, that God will be able to move continually in my life. Hallelujah. We give God glory. We just thank him on tonight. We just thank him on tonight for everything. Hallelujah. When you praise him, you'll start thanking him. When you praise him, you'll have a, a, a heart and just a, a lightness to say thank you to it. God, I just thank you for everything as I pray right now. Before I go into this word, oh God, I pray that you lead and guide me, that you shield me and protect me, oh Lord. Lord, we just thank you for all that you're doing in the midst of everything that's going on. We know that you are still sitting on the throne and we just say thank you. We give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Listen, I, I'm reminded as I begin to pray, I begin to just, just see and visualize, hallelujah, things that I spoke about uh, a few weeks ago. And one of the things that I spoke about in singing one of my favorite songs, I said, Sister Pam, this one goes out to you, hallelujah. But before I said that, I said, I can remember being a little kid and hearing Sister Alvinches Gravely, amen, Alvinches Hashton Gravely, I remember her singing this song, talking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, amen. And I said that a couple of weeks ago and we were informed on yesterday, hallelujah, or this sometime this week, Monday or Tuesday, that Sister Alvinch has passed, amen. So to the Gravely and the Harrison family, listen, you already know it's nothing but love and that we're all family. We're in this together. Born and raised at Shallow the Cross Church, 938 Brookdale Street in the city of Martinsville. You already know what it is, amen. And I was born and raised hearing uh, Sister Alvinch sing, seeing uh, Sister Alvinch direct the choir, amen, and sing with all the different choirs and traveling on trips. So we're praying for the Gravely and Harrison and family, we know that you guys have got some tough days ahead of you, amen, but we're in this thing with you together, amen, if it's anything that we can do, you already know that you have our love, you have our support, amen, uh, uh, we were not live on last week, amen, but we played the other videos, and we're even uh, speaking about sister, uh, uh, sister here in our church, sister Crystal, and sister Maggie, hallelujah, sister Maggie, the loss of her brother, hallelujah, and sister Crystal, and the loss of her uncle, we're praying for you guys, 
us. Amen. And if it's anything we can do, I know it's a strange time now, but we're going to be here for you guys. Just a phone call away. We love you guys here at Rebirth Saints. It's praying time. Amen. It is indeed praying time. And I want to just show you a few things on tonight. Hallelujah. That the devil is doing. He is busy. He is so busy. Now tonight, this is not about giving the devil credit. This is not about giving the devil, amen, any browning points. Amen. But I want to make you guys aware. Come on, come on. I want to raise your awareness, amen, on some of the things that the devil uses and some of the things that the devil does, amen, to try to stop and block what God is about to do. Hallelujah. I told you a couple of weeks ago that uh, I was, uh, the kids were out there playing in the yard and they were playing in the water. Amen. And they had the water on. Hallelujah. And they were waiting for the blow up thing to start blowing water and it just started dribbling out. Just wasn't coming out at all. And I looked at that and I said, something's wrong. Amen. It, I've got the water on. I know I've got it connected. Amen. But it's not coming out. Amen. Uh, what was it? I looked and I had to follow and traced the line and I found that there was a kink in the line. Hallelujah. That's one of the things starting firstly tonight that I want to speak to you. Amen. That the devil does. Amen. To try to stop what it is that God is about to do and that he's doing in our lives. Amen. It's a kink in the line. Somebody say there's a kink in the line. Before I get into the word, I want to show you something. I told you very quickly that I already had the source on. Come on, saints. Tonight, I want you to make sure. I know I was talking about a spigot. I, I know I was talking about the water hose, but I want you tonight to make sure that your source is on. Come on, saints. I want you to ask somebody and even ask yourself, hallelujah, is my source on and is my source flowing. Come on, saints. Uh, have I cut on the source? Have I cut on the source? Uh, God is our source. Uh, God is where our help comes from. God is where our flow comes from. And sometimes we can walk in our lives, amen, hallelujah, and the source not even be on. Listen, we know that God is always on. Don't get it twisted, amen. But I had to next check to see if it was on. But secondly, I had to check and see if it was connected. Y'all, come on. I had to check and see if it was connected to the source. I want you to ask yourself secondly tonight, Am I really connected to the source? Am I halfway connected? Yeah. Am I losing blessings all over the place? Am I losing power from all over the place? Am I really, truly, tightly and securely connected to the source? Y'all better talk to me in here tonight. Amen. The hose was connected. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything, the power and the source was on. The other hose was connected at the play thing, at the blow up thing. But as I told you, there was a crink in the line. Huh. So I went from where one connection was and I traced the line to the next connection. Yeah. And on that connection, I had to work my way back towards the source. Can I say that again? If you're not getting no flow in your life, come on. If you're not getting the blessings of God in your life, if you can't feel God like you used to, you need to work your way back and find the kink in the line as you work your way back to the source. Y'all talk to me in here tonight. You need to work your way back to the source. You can't feel God like you used to. Hallelujah. You need to work your way back Ah, to the source. You can't talk in tongue. You can't feel the power of God like you used to. You don't pray like you used to. You need to work your way back to the source. Hey, you got a kink in the line somewhere. Y'all talk to me in here. Uh, you're not excited tonight. I ain't got no hearts. I ain't got no likes on tonight. Ain't nobody sharing because you don't even know what a kink is. Y'all talk to me. Yeah, 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 look, look. Let me give you the definition of the word kink. I know you heard it before. But a kink is a sharp twist or a curve in something that is otherwise straight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I said it was otherwise straight and now it's got a tight curve, a tight twist, a sharp twist or a curve in it. Y'all talk to me. It used to be straight, but guess what? Now it's got a kink in it. Uh huh. My relationship with God, yeah, I was straight. I was good. Uh, hallelujah. But now it's got a kink in the line. Y'all talk to me. I used to could pray good. Yeah. 
I used to get hear from God good, but now there is a kink in the line. Y'all talk back to me. Uh, you said, Pastor, I'm still not understanding. Let me give you some words that mean the same thing as kink. Uh, a crimp in the line. Uh -huh. When was the last time, ladies, you had your hair crimped? Y'all talk back to me. First lady, I think you got to break, break out the crimps again. She said, no, 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 no heat, no heat. Amen. Uh, crimps. You got a crimp in the line. A twist in the line. Y'all talk to me. A knot in the line. A tangle, an entanglement. Oh my God. I'll go there later. Is a crimp in the line. A distortion. Uh -huh. Irregularity. These are all words that mean the same thing as kink in the line. Yeah. You said, Lord, my financials are okay. Everything seemed to be going fine. Everything seemed to be going okay. But guess what? Here come the devil. And he said, I got to put a kink in the line. I, the, listen, the devil knows that he cannot shut off the source. The devil knows. Can we just give God praise on that right there? Let's not rush past that. Come on, let's stay right there for a few seconds. I said, the devil knows that he cannot shut off the source. Hey, ah, the devil knows that he cannot shut off the source. Ah, why? You cannot shut off the water at my house because the bill has already been paid. Let me stay right there. You cannot shut off the source because God already paid for it all. You cannot shut off the source so God, amen, because God has already paid for it all. The devil knows that. So what's his assignment? It's to put a kink in the flow. Y'all talk to me. Anybody can testify tonight and say things were going good. I was making my way up. Amen. I was saving a little bit here and there. And the next thing, the washer and dryer got to go out. I ain't saying the devil is an electrician. Amen. But sometimes the enemy has a way of putting a kink in what God and the blessings that are flowing in our lives. Y'all talk back to me. Uh, can somebody testify and say amen tonight? If you're in the room, say amen tonight. Come on, let me see you. Let me hear from you tonight. Say amen. The devil wants to put a kink in what God is doing. He wants to stop what it is that God uh, is trying to do. He cannot block the flow. Hey, so he has to try to put a kink uh, in the line. Uh, let me give you another definition. The verb is to form or to cause uh, a sharp twist or a curve. I said that before. Hey, to form it or to cause it. The devil will get a hold to your connection. Come on, saints. He will get a hold to your connection in order to block you from receiving from God. He said, if I can just wrench it a little bit. Come on, old school. Come on. He said, if I can just twist it a little bit. Amen. He said, what am I twisting? I'm twisting their prayer life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm twisting, amen, their ability to be able to hold on to God. If I can just twist it a little bit, y'all come on in here. If I can just put a small kink in the line, then they'll give up on God. If I can just introduce a small issue in their life, then they'll stop praying. If I can introduce an extra bill, amen, or extra payment in their finances, then it'll shake their faith enough that they will not believe God but I believe tonight that the devil is a liar come on come on he can't tell the truth so anything that he's trying to tell you that he's trying to tell me it ain't nothing but a lie the Bible declares him the father of all lies and it says that there can be no truth in him so whatever the devil is trying to convince you to do all you got to do is do the opposite whatever the devil is trying to convince you that's going to happen, you got to believe God for the opposite. Whatever the devil speaks is a lie from the pit of hell and you got to believe God for the glory. You got to believe God for the power. You got to believe God for the victory. Ah, in your life. Hey, ah, don't let him put a kink in the line. Don't let him put a kink in the line. Listen, let me read to you tonight one of the most critical stories in the word of God. Hey, man, hallelujah, where, where the devil just kept trying to put a kink in the line. Hey, ah, I want you to go to Job, the first chapter. Yeah, first lady, she said, I like, pastor, she said, uh, uh, babe, I like when you tell stories. Hey, man, I like when you break down the stories. You've all heard this before, but there was once a man named Job. I'm about to 
around. Hallelujah. And the Bible declares that he was blameless before the Lord. He was a man of complete integrity. Uh -huh. He feared God and he stayed away from evil. Uh -huh. He had seven sons and three daughters. Amen. Hallelujah. Seven sons and three daughters. He owned so many sheep and camels and 3,000 of each and teams of oxen. Amen. This man was rich. Y'all come on. This man was balling. He had it. To, he just he had it like that. He had it like that. Hallelujah. They were so rich that all of the sons and the children would take turns and have parties and feast in their houses. Uh, hallelujah. And sometimes these parties would last several days. I mean, it would be people everywhere. Uh, hallelujah. And uh, guess what? There would be people all over the place. They would have parties and they would get up and offer burnt sacrifice. Job would purify. Amen. His children. Hallelujah. He would get up and say, you know what? Whatever it is that they've done, Lord, I'm going to get up and purify. I'm going to offer a burnt offering, Lord. I, he was blameless, saints. He was blameless. But we read in Job 1 and verse number 6, hallelujah, that one day the, the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the Lord. Listen to this. And the accuser of the brethren, Satan, uh, came with them. He said, where have you come from, the Lord asked Satan? And Satan answered to the Lord. I've been patrolling the earth. Listen to this. Uh, watching everything that's going on. Listen. I've been patrolling the earth, seeing who I could mess up. I've been patrolling the earth, seeing who you've been blessing. I've been, he said, I've been watching everything. Let me tell you something. The devil and the enemy is busy. He's ear hustling. He's listening after your blessings. He's listening when you pray. He's, that's why you got to have communication and relationship with God. He said, I've been watching everything that's going on. Listen to verse number eight. Then the Lord asked Satan, have you noticed my servant Job? He is the finest man in all of the earth. Earth. He is blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. Listen to what Satan said. Yeah, I noticed him. Hallelujah. But he's got a good reason to fear God. You've always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything that he does. Look now how rich he is. He, he said, but reach out. Oh God, and take away everything that he has and he will surely curse you to your face. Uh, God looks at him and says, all right, in verse 12, he said, you may test him. The Lord said to Satan, do whatever you want with everything he possesses, but you may not harm him physically. So Satan left the Lord's presence. Listen, it did not matter what else was, that God was about to say. All the devil needed, hallelujah, was the authorization to give a test. All the devil need. Look, the devil had been waiting to try Job. He had been waiting to test Job because he already had been taking inventory of how blessed Job was. Let me share this with you. The enemy knows how blessed you are. Uh, the enemy is aware of how successful you are. The enemy is aware, amen, that if he could try you, he will try you. You need to be ready to hold on to God's unchanging hand. I pray that you're holding on even right now. He said, you may test him. Listen to this. Verse number 13 says, one day Job's sons and daughters uh, were feasting at the oldest brother's house uh, and a messenger arrived from Job's home with the news. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. Uh, uh, your oxen were plowing while uh, with the donkeys feeding beside them. And, and some people came in and they raided us. Uh, they stole all the animals uh, and, and they, they killed all the farm there. And I'm the only one that came and escaped to tell you. Can I share this with you? Hallelujah. That somebody might not be running from across town, but has anybody ever been going along okay? Uh -huh. Has anybody ever been saying, you know, today was a good day, Ice Cube? Everything was all right. Amen. And all of a sudden, come on, saints. And all of a sudden, come on. And all of a sudden, what you get? You get bad news. Come on. You get bad news in your life. You get a bad aware. Hallelujah. A notification. Hallelujah. That just mess your entire day up. Come on, saints. You get a notification that just mess up everything that you had planned. You get a text message. Amen. That just mess up after another. After another. Let me tell you something. That 
that ain't nothing but a kink in the line. And when you answer your text this week and you say, God, you've been good to me. Yeah, God, you've been blessing me. And you get one of these in your life. Look at it. Look, bad news. Here it comes. I want you to say that ain't nothing but a kink in my line. Uh -huh. It ain't nothing but the devil trying to stop what it is that God is about to do in my life. I refuse to let it bring me down. God, I refuse amen, to let go of your unchanging hand. Come what may. Hallelujah. If it come again, God, I'm going to believe you. God, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to take you. There it is again. Listen. Verse number 16 says, while he was still speaking, uh -huh, another messenger arrived with this news. The fire of God has fallen from heaven and burned up your sheep and all of your shepherds. You ain't even got nobody to take care of them now. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. Listen to this. Hallelujah. Another message has come. Uh -huh. Another notification has come. Another letter has come in the mail. Another issue has arisen. Huh? But you need to look at that and say, here we go. God, I'm not going to fall to my knees in despair, but I'm going to fall to my knees in prayer. Uh -huh. I'm not going to fall to my knees, amen, in defeat, uh, amen, but I'm going to fall at your feet, God. Hey, I'm going to believe you that if you brought me this far, come hell or high water, whatever the notification, whatever the issue, God, I'm going to trust you. I said, the devil trying to put a kink in the line. He said, I believe that, that Job, amen, would be able to get over, hallelujah, the oxen. Yeah, I believe that Job was rich enough that he may be able to get over the donkeys. And I believe that Job was rich enough that he'll be able to get over the sheep and the shepherds. Oh, but look at this right here. Another message has arrived. Oh, my God. I said, another message has arrived. Verse number 17 says, while he was still speaking. Come on, saints. While he was still speaking, look what happened. Hallelujah. Another message arrived. Uh -huh. And he said, three bands of Chaldean raiders have stolen your camels and killed your servants. I'm the only one that escaped to tell you. Bad news after bad news. Come on, saints. Uh, message after message. Hallelujah. A drama after drama. Oh, but Job was not shaken. He said, I could buy some more camels. I could buy some more oxen. I could buy some more donkeys. But in verse number eight, 18. Listen to this. As he was still speaking, uh -huh, another message arrived in the news. Your sons and daughters were feasting in the oldest brother's home. And suddenly a powerful wind swept from the wilderness and hit the house on all sides. Hey, how you hit it on all sides? Okay. The house collapsed and all of your children are dead. I'm the only one that escaped to tell you. Job stood up and said, that did it. Nah, Job stood up and said, that's the last thing I can take. He tore his robe in grief. He shaved his head and fell to the ground, but it was not in defeat. Ah, you need to read verse 20 again. He said he shaved his head and he fell to the ground to worship. Y'all talk back to me. In the midst of all that he went through, he still went to God in worship. Ah, he said it didn't matter what kink came up. It didn't matter what bad news came. He said I'm still going to position myself to worship. You get a bad letter. You get a bad text message. I want you to position yourself to worship God. Hey, I want you to position yourself to say, God, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to believe in you. I'm going to take you at your word. God, he said he fell to the ground to worship. Listen to what he said. Naked I came in this world from my mother's womb. Uh -huh. And I'll be naked when I return. Uh -huh. The Lord giveth, y'all talk to me, and the Lord taketh away. Let me pause and put my kick stand down because I feel mighty good right here. What you got, you didn't get it on your own. 
Hey, what you have achieved, you did not achieve it on your own. But it was God's hand, hey, who was rich in grace and mercy. I feel this thing. It was God's hand hey, that allowed you to make it where you are. It was God's hand hey, that has kept you thus far. Ah, uh, you need to come on back. Uh, you need to get back in God's hand. You need to get back in the blood. Uh, you need to get back under the covering. Amen. Because it was God. He said, naked I came in this world. Hey, and naked I shall leave. I came in with nothing and I shall leave with nothing. Hallelujah. You tried to put a kink in my camels, but guess what? That's all right. You put a kink in my donkeys, but you know what? That's all right. You even took my children from me. I fell down to my knees. Oh, but while I was down there, I begin to pray. While I was down there, I begin to give God thanks. Saints, I know you might be down but I want to share with you you're not out Hey, I know you might be down but I want to share with you it's not over I know you may be low but I want to share with you if it has to reach way 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 down that God will reach down out of the shiny coats of glory God will reach down and pick you up I said he'll pick you up the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away praise the name of the Lord can we just take a minute and pause right here and just begin to give God some praise I don't care what you type I don't care what you do but you need to type something and give God some praise come on you need to type something and give God some glory you need to do it right now right now Oh, while the blood is running warm. While the blood is running warm. Verse 22 says, in all of this, come on, come on. I said, in all of this, it said that Job did not. Hey, let me go back and read it for sure. It said, in all of this, Job did not sin against God. Y'all better talk to me in here. I said, in all of this, in everything that you're going through, y'all come on. In everything that you are dealing with, in every struggle, in every area of of your life you cannot you must not blame God you must not sin against God you must not sin against the father you got to continually give God praise y'all talk back to me come on and talk back to me in here hallelujah I feel like preaching this thing tonight amen because God hallelujah is still worthy God is still deserving God is still worthy of our praise he is still worthy of everything we could give him my God in the midst of it I know the devil trying to put a kink in the line I know the devil trying to stop you I know that he's trying to trying to upset the balance but every message that Job got it was nothing but a kink in the line hey hallelujah we all know the story maybe I'll do the rest of it next week but guess what hallelujah Job got back everything better Ah, Job got back double for his trouble. Let me go there next week. Let me go there. Job got everything. Look, the devil cannot stop the source. I'm going to say it again. The devil cannot stop the source. So all he has to try to do is put a kink in the line. Every message that he got, every text that he got. Look, look, look. look. I know it said a messenger. Hallelujah. But then when, they, when the people showed up, that wasn't nothing but a, but a, but a modern day text message. That's all that was. So when negative and bad news comes, when negative and bad news shows up, hallelujah, we got to continually hold on to God. We got to continually keep our hand in God's hand. Listen, I want to pray with you tonight. Amen. And we're going to go before God and we're going to pray for real. We're going to go before God and we're going to pray like serious, like for real. I want you to pray with me on tonight. We're going to believe God. We're going to trust God. We're going to thank him. We're going to believe him. We're going to believe him. I said we're going to believe him. We're going to trust him tonight. If you're in this room tonight, come on, I want you to just begin to pray, even right there where you are. I want you to begin to give God praise right there where you are. Don't you let the devil, amen, try to stop you again. Don't let, you, don't let the devil try to put a kink in that lie. We're going to go before him. We're going to thank him on tonight. We're going to give him praise that he deserves. We're going to thank him and give him worship that he deserves. We're going to go before it. 
We're going to go before him on tonight. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, Lord, we say thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We give you glory, God. We give you praise, God. We bless your name, God. If it had not been for you who was on our side, there is absolutely no way we could stand here tonight. There is absolutely no way we could make it on tonight. But God, because you are on our side, hallelujah, we know that we can do all things. Hey, we know that we can make every way. We know that we can get through every struggle because you are on our side. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people tonight. I pray that the enemy have to take his hand off of them. I pray that the enemy have to back up out of their lives. I pray that the enemy have to take his hand off of the situation. That he be evicted right now in the name of Jesus. By your power, God, let it be done. By your might, God, let it be so. We know that you got the whole world in the palm of your hand. We know that you got everything under control. But right now in Jesus' name, Lord, we need your people to be strengthened. We need your people to be elevated. We need your people to have power, God, to resist the wiles of the devil. When the enemy comes here like a flood, Lord, let your people rise up and let you raise up that standard. Let us get back to you, God. Let us not retreat, but let us get back to the standard of God. Get back to the ways of God. Fall back to the citadel of your holiness. Fall back to the safety of sanctification. Fall back, God, to whatever it is that you need out of us, God. I pray that your people be strengthened. I pray that your people be strengthened. Lord, that when the enemy comes in, that they'll be able to stand him. When the enemy comes in, that they'll be able to rebuke him and have power. I pray for power right now in Jesus' name. I pray for an outpouring of power. I pray for an outpouring of strength. I pray for an outpouring of the anointing. Do it right now. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need the Holy Ghost again. Lord, we need your power again. Lord, we need your strength again. Strengthen your people right now. Strengthen this body even right now. Give us power from on high, God. Give us authority from on high, God. Shield the people of God. Shield us in our homes, oh God. Shield us in the streets, oh God. Bless when we come. Bless when we go. Keep back hurt and danger. Keep back harm and infliction. Keep back sickness and disease. Lord, as I pray over your people right now, let the Spirit of God even meet them in their house. Let the power of God fall in their house. Let the Holy Ghost fall right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's what we want. That's what we need. That's what we got to have. We want Jesus. We want Jesus. We want Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the evening. Jesus at supper time. I pray that our children get Jesus. I pray that our families get Jesus. Let the church get Jesus again. Let us lay aside every way. That is causing us to run this race slowly. And let us get Jesus. Let us get Jesus. Oh, that's what we want. Oh, that's what we need, God. That's what we need, God. I said that's what we need, God. Do it for your people right now. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Let everything that have breath give God praise. Oh, he's going to remove the kick out the line. He's removing the kick out the line right now. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you.